What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen and today I'm here in a studio. First time trying a studio setup. I am borrowing this setup from my buddy Rasmus, who's standing right over here. He will be joining us a little bit later in the video. Some of you have been asking, Christian, what about the last countries that you visited? You went home pretty fast and that is true. So I will be covering that today. I will be covering how it is to travel solo in Europe. How much does it cost? What do you need to be aware of and tips and tricks? So let's get into the video guys. So coming home to Denmark has been pretty weird for me because as some of you know, I was only meant to go back to Denmark for a couple of weeks and then go back to Indonesia. But Indonesia went into a lockdown and then I couldn't go back. So I had to figure out a way to still keep the channel alive and to show you guys some kind of content. So I thought I have the Ducati, my father's, I could borrow that. So I decided to plan a four week trip all across Europe and show you guys some of all these amazing countries here in Europe. So that's what I did. And at the end, I had to hurry home because Indonesia, it looks like it was about to open up again. So I hurried back home. And what you didn't see on camera is the last five days of the trip. It was just raining, raining, raining. It was absolutely horrible, actually. Let me just quickly show you how it looked like the last couple of days of the trip. I finally made it to Berlin and the weather is just so bad. <laughs> it's been raining for the last many days. It's a complete mess. I've just been trying to dry my clothes. And they just updated the weather forecast this morning. It looks like I might get some rain today as well. Yeah, I was basically in hotels in Hungary, in Poland, in Germany, just trying to find some places that I could visit, but it kept raining so i decided that's enough after three and a half weeks i decided okay it's time to head back home if you're planning to do the same there's a few things that i do want to mention in this video for example it was a lot more expensive than i had thought traveling in indonesia i can go four weeks easily for around less than a thousand dollars but this trip 33 days on the road ended up costing me almost 35,000 Danish crowns. So it was an expensive trip indeed, but I also got to visit so many beautiful countries along the way. So what do you need to be aware of when going to Europe? It is high cost. I wanna say the average I spent per day was probably around 100 euros. I was hoping I could keep it to maybe 75 per day, but nah. Actually, I was also hoping that I could book on Airbnb a lot and that would be cheaper. But actually what I ended up doing was going on Agoda and simply booking hotels because there's so many good hotel deals in Europe right now after the pandemic. Once you go to a place, go to a city and you want to find a place to sleep, go into the nearest hotel and just ask them how much does it cost for a night? We're only going to stay here for a day or for a couple of days because that is one of the best tips that I learned on this trip. You will get a much better price on a hotel room if you go and book with them directly. I want you to consider how many kilometers do you want to drive because my original plan was to drive from Denmark all the way down through Germany, go to France, Switzerland, ending all the way down in Sicily in Italy. That rhymed, kinda cool. Anyway, in Italy, Sicily, that was my main goal. So I could go to Rome as well, but just going down the Alps in France, it was so beautiful and it took a lot more time than I expected. So my advice for you, if you want to travel around Europe, stay in one place for a minimum of two to three days. But guys, since we are here in Rasmus' studio, I actually thought it could be fun to bring him along. So Rasmus, welcome. <laughs> Rasmus, AKA Aquaman. <laughs> You'll see in a bit. Rasmus, welcome to my studio or your studio. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. <laughs> so guys, the reason why I also wanted to bring Rasmus along in today's video is because we actually just shot a video together trying an electric motorcycle. It is on Rasmus' channel and it should be up by now. So uh, I'll make sure to put a link for that if you want to check it out. So Rasmus, yeah. what's up? Yo, <laughs> how goes? Good, 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 good. So like just very short about me. We, my wife and I, Mana, uh, we run a, a YouTube channel called Mana and Rasmus, and it's a general channel about, well, what we walk around and do. Um, we have always been quite active in life, I believe, um, and we thought, why not try to document some of this, at least just for ourselves. And you have actually, the fun thing about Rasmus and Mana's channel, I think, is that you have a tiny house. Right now we're living in a camper van while we're renovating our tiny house, but in within the next couple of months we're gonna be moving into our tiny house and and um, yeah we just recently sold our house we moved out into the nature and 
have started a new lifestyle. And I think what's super interesting about Rasmus and Mana's life is that they are actually living, in my opinion, a life that many people want to. You have a really nice online business, yeah. um, quite big actually, getting married in Denmark. That's correct. Dot com. Yeah. That's awesome. And <laughs> they then have their two children, Otto and Indiana. Indiana. And then they are simply building this small house that you used to have a large house and yeah. now you're building a tiny house and then you have your camper so that you can go any way you want and make YouTube videos. Exactly. We, we felt that we wanted to explore the lifestyle of being more out and about. Uh, we've already always done it, but we wanted to try to push it a bit further. Yeah. I can understand and relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, okay. yeah. I, I did, however, have a couple of questions in regards to traveling like you did, because it uh -huh. sounded like quite an, an full-on experience of what you went through. And, and I know this is very practical, yes. but how do you structure a day of both driving the, the amount of kilometers that you did, as well as just having a break and actually making videos? What, what did it look, they look like in reality and not just on camera? Basically, what I did is every morning I would get up around 6.30. Mm -hmm. I would then start to pack up some of my equipment, maybe just shoot a little bit of video when the sun was coming up. And then it was about getting some breakfast, usually at the hotel, packing up the rest of my things, getting the motorbike ready. Um, the night before, I will usually check where I'm planning to go-ish. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's simply getting all the stuff on the motorcycle, getting on the road, and then um, I will usually drive for a couple of hours. Of course, I need gasoline. And then in the afternoon, I would try to find out the app, a place to stay. I would usually be at, in bed by maybe 11, 11.30 with all my things charging, all my things ready to be packed the next day. Maybe I remember to have dinner. Uh, <laughs> that's why actually a lot of my subscribers, they said in the first couple of videos, what's happening to your face? Because my face was doing like this. I, no, no shit, I lost five kilos in two weeks. Oh, really? Yeah, because I forgot to eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Christian. Yes. So, having traveled all around Europe, Yeah. like, it's, it's, it, Europe is great. Don't you feel like coming back to Europe? Very good question. No. Really? <laughs> yeah. My whole goal was to experience as many European countries as I possibly could mm -hmm. in this short time frame. And Europe is fantastic. Honestly, Europe is a great place to travel because you can see so many countries in such a short time frame. But I've never been in a country in Europe, any place, anywhere else in the world where people are as friendly as they are in Indonesia. I experienced it a lot in some of the countryside mm -hmm. on my Euro trip. But as soon as you get into the major cities, even just close to some of the major cities, you don't have that, uh, you know, a good example is if you're walking around in Copenhagen and you suddenly <laughs> do like this to a person. Hi! Most of the times it'll do like this. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Did I know him or is he mentally retarded? <laughs> and you yeah. know, anywhere I go in Indonesia, People are always smiling, always welcoming. So I think the main reason why I won't be going back to mm -hmm. Europe anytime soon is because the friendliness of the Indonesian people is almost too good to be true, you know? Yeah. And I still have so many places all around uh, Indonesia I want to visit. I haven't announced this yet, but I have such a long plan of all different places yeah. I want to go in Indonesia. I heard, I heard about something yeah. coming up, yeah. like I'm, uh, which I'm really excited <laughs> to, to, to follow along. Yeah, you know what, I actually, that was a really reason why I started this YouTube channel. Yeah. That's because of this big plan I haven't even announced yet. Oh, wow. So, not Europe anytime soon. No, I can appreciate that. And uh, and yeah. there is no question from since we met, like yeah. the only thing that I've heard about Indonesia is so sky rocketing good yeah. that uh, for sure, Man and I have already announced that we, we, are, we are coming by. We're swinging by in Indonesia anytime, as soon as we can. You're promoting that country to the perfection. Good. <laughs> and w once you get out there, we're gonna do another collab. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Rasmus. Time to kick you out of my studio. <laughs> Thank you. <man. laughs> Thank you so no, much. I have to tell you. Christian. Yeah, that was a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to be around. Likewise, and um, yeah, see you guys soon. Hey. See you soon. So guys, to make an overall conclusion, was this trip worth it? I want to say yes, even though it was a lot more expensive than I had imagined. I had a fantastic trip. I saw so many beautiful places, mountains and beaches, and I met so many people. I got a whole new view on France as a country. It was 
an experience of a lifetime. The next thing is of course going home to Indonesia. And it seems like I can be allowed to be traveling back in a few days. I'm gonna learn as much as I can about this country and try to show the best side of it and why I think it's the best country in the world. I think that's gonna be it for today. Massive shout out to my YouTube members. Thank you for your support and special thanks to Rasmus as well for letting me borrow the studio. Make sure that you check out the Euro episodes and Rasmus's channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in Indonesia. Sampai nanti semua and until next time. Good night guys. All right. And cut. Fits. Fits. Ah, sorry. Super. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the. Ah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Go good. What? Yeah. Um, what's up, guys? There. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. If you're. It, yeah. <laughs> like, um, I. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a. Um, <laughs> det tror jeg sgu godt, jeg kan lave en video ud af det der. Absolut, absolut. That rhyme, that's cool. And cut!